Hello, welcome back. My name is Trip Lawyer, and you are watching Metal Detecting Beginner to Beginner. And this is the end complete for Sunday, August 24th, 2014. And let me tell you something. I had the most busiest, the most intense, the most extreme metal detecting that I think I've ever done, period, all the way around. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that we got that I've been picking up all over the place. You, I basically got it. Uh, I'll go on the stories in a second, but first and foremost, happy birthday, Chemical X. This is his 17th birthday today, so happy birthday. Anyhow, what we have here today, I picked up a bunch of scrap metal, and these things are heavier than heck. These are like really thick and heavy. Now, if you guys ever want a good workout, Get a bunch of these, put them in your pocket, and try walking around for a few miles. <laughs> you, you will get a workout. This one, I don't even know, it's probably about four pounds. No less than that, I'd say about maybe two and a half pounds, but still. Anyhow, this one actually moves a little bit. Uh, what else we got? So this is the scrap metal area, and now we have the ultra crap section. One of my favorites. This is crap that I'll never, ever use, and I just pick it up. And I don't know why, but I just... Got its own little area. The ultra crap. It looks like some people were having a rave. <laughs> See glow stick wrappers and everything. Okie doke. Now where are we at? Okay. Bottle caps. Yeah, I'm going to put bottle caps and everything. I've been finding tons of these over at Lexington Beach. Uh, there's nothing really th that really stands out. There is kind of two of them that's interesting. Uh, where did one of them go? They get beat up pretty bad. Uh, one of them is a strawberry soda or something like that. It was kind of really weird. And i never seen this Heineken before. Now, normally I don't do beers, but again, rest in peace, Jeff Hanneman and Slayer. He was a huge influence on me growing up. Guy, rest in peace. i never seen a red one, though. And, oh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this one. I'll lift it up a little bit so you can see it. I'm going to put it back down so you get a better look at it. I don't know exactly what it is, but what it kind of looks like to me, it looks like a pawn that you would do in chess. Like uh, metal figurines. This is like it would definitely be a pawn. One, two. <laughs> that, that's what I'm calling it. I like it. I think it's kind of cool. I don't find that every day. I'm glad I didn't get a bunch of these erasers. They're driving me nuts this, this time. Okay, we got some other. Oh, this one I wanted to show you. You know, I'm always doing the pull tabs. Guys, do your pull tabs. Get them. Donate to charity. Kids, need help. Someone got really creative with this one. <laughs> I've never seen this one before. Someone took about five or six, what was that, about three, four, five, six, about six or seven of them and just popped them all together. <laughs> like, wow. I left all the dirt on so you don't think that I did it on purpose. That's just the way it was. Um, I found one of those vintage ashtrays, the little... Uh, Gold ones that they disposable. Yeah, I don't know. They probably don't even make them anymore. Another pull tab. I don't know what the heck that is, but it was kind of cool. This is a cool piece of metal. I mean, there's not a whole lot I'm ever going to do with it. It has a design on it. I just don't can't really make it out too well what it is. Um, still got that stupid thing. I have no idea what that is, but I find them on occasion. Let's see. What else can we play with today? Fisher. What is Fisher anyways? Is it, uh, I didn't know it's a company, but what do they make? Um, we got another half a key for Chemical X. She's starting to collect keys now, which is awfully neat. Collecting is kind of cool, if you ask me. Here's the copper section. All I found was copper wire. Crap. I'm always looking for more copper. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lexington Beach. I wanted to find fishing stuff, and for once I found it. No, I'm not a fisherman. I just like finding uh, bizarre stuff. But yeah, now I got a fishing section. <laughs> Which is cool. Believe it or not, all these hooks that you see, I will plan on uh, using them for Halloween display. I do a lot of stuff for Halloween, and it would be kind of cool to put fish hooks in someone's eye. <laughs> you know, we make our own dummies and everything. Now the jewelry section. <clears throat> I mean, this one was so badly beat up and corroded. I found three rings. Two of them were squished to hell. And that one's okay. They were found at an elementary school. They're not worth anything. But I found them in my, in my collection. I don't know what the heck this is. I found that one this morning. 
Not sure what it is. It, it, it was probably a charm or something like that that bent off and broke. Found a button. Oh, this is a new one. Got the little angel. Found an angel over at Lexington Beach. What's cool is that it still has a, the cap and the pin and all that, so it could actually be used, which is kind of cool. I found this flower. A really nice looking flower. That's kind of cool. Lexington Beach, I swear to God, if I got to pull up one more bobby pin, I am going to go nuts. You heard of finding a needle in a haystack? Yeah, find a bobby pin in a beach. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Those things are driving me nuts. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a piece of jewelry somehow. And then we got this here. This is actually fake diamonds, of course. Elementary school. Well, that's kind of neat. They shine up a little bit, but not super much. Okay, and now off. Oh, I got something over here. I don't have any toys out of my collection. I don't have any toys at all. Except I found this today. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. What I think that is is the body of like a Hot Wheels car. Or a Matchbox car just totally beat the crap. If you guys know what it is, uh, let me know if you want. If you got time, you know, if you know what it is. But it's so beat up, it's really hard to tell. But again, it got a whole slew of coins. These are pennies. That spills helped out a lot. A lot of this from the spills. When you look at the bank video that I posted, this, a lot of it was from here. I did okay on the nickels and the dimes. That's pretty cool. It's all right. I like it. And I got some quarters. It's above average uh, amount of quarters that I usually get, but I like it. So, yeah, so these are all the coins that I got. And uh, I got a Chuck E. Cheese token. Now, I'm going to pull over here. Uh, Saturday at Lexington Beach, I actually had someone help me out. and He's part of the team now. His name's Mad Dog. These are what he did. He's a beginner just like us. Uh, so this is Mad Dog's digs. I told him I'd put it on film for him. So he found a police car. Found this little piece of metal here. I like that bottle cap. For some reason, just a green and black pop. And again, I'm still trying to figure out what these are. Yeah, he ended up finding one on the beach too. So I don't know what it is. If you guys know what this is, please let me know. Because if it's worth anything, <laughs> scrap even, I, I got tons of it. Then we got the K-Man Jack. So he's beginning just like us. His name's Mad Dog. He's going to be uh, detecting with us and getting some more stuff when he can. But he's kind of busy sometimes. But uh, yeah, so it's nice to have Mad Dog back on the team. Or on the team for the first time. Got a clip here. And what is the find of the week? Okay. Finally. Finally, finally I found a silver coin <laughs> for crying out loud. There's always those things that you want to get. I always wanted to get a silver coin. Now, at first I did not believe that this Kennedy was even a silver coin. You know, just because it's the date on its own is 1966. And I know a lot of times I think uh, silver, uh, it's 1965, and then anything after that isn't. But what I had to do, grab my little coin, came over here, went over to my book, my news book, have the coin, looked it up, silver, 1966. So I am thrilled, as thrilled as thrilled can be. This was definitely phenomenal. I've been wanting a silver coin forever and finally got one. I'm so happy with it. So, I thank you all for watching. Uh, please comment. Let me know uh, what you think. You know, if you got any suggestions, please give it to me. I'll, throw, I'll put it in the series. And I thank everybody for watching. Happy birthday, Chemical X. Thank you, Mad Dog, for coming out and detecting with us. You're part of the team now. And I'm Trip Oyer. And, again, this is Mellow Detecting, Beginner to Beginner. This is the end complete for August 24th. 2014. Y'all have a great hunt. Keep it low. Keep it slow. Later.